my wife you know said it uh, when she was asked how it feels like uh, you know married to a guy who keeps changing she said i'm i'm so lucky that i'm getting to live with different men <laughs> becoming the character is is a is a slow process my life is actually in the manner it is going uh, i think uh, people will make a biopic on this <laughs> Hello friends, we are here with Manoj Bajpayee who returns in Family Man as James Bond who needs a home loan. Along with us is the talented director DK of the show. So tell us, you have taken away the martinis, you have taken away the tuxedos and given the poor super spy middle class problems. So how did it come up? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, was the, that was the idea, that was the original concept is to create a character uh, like a very very indigenous Indian homespun, the word is homespun. Uh, intelligence officer. You can call him a spy. He's, he does the same job that a James Bond does, but he doesn't have any of the frills or the glamour or the girls that James Bond has. In fact, he's a very straightforward, simple, middle class family man. So he has to deal with all the problems that come with being a family man, the middle class existence, living in Bombay, affording a house, sending the kids to school, all those problems, doing a government job because in, even intelligence job is still a government job the rules, even the scale, everything is, may not match with a corporate job. So that's a sacrifice somebody like a Shrikant Tiwari's character does every day. Everybody will be telling him with your intelligence you could work in Microsoft hmm. and make a lot more money. But then somewhere there is something in them that says they want to work for the country. And usually it's not even appreciated. Like nobody is praising them for working for the country. Even his wife or his brother or his family are always saying, are you sure? Why not just take up a private job? You know, that's so. That's the that's the facet of it that we wanted to bring about by with this character in the show. And Manoj, for uh, for you, which was the more challenging part, the family man or the super spy, when you were playing? Uh, no, I mean, so this, I I can't really uh, figure out which one is more challenging because both the areas are very very different to each other, and the challenges are very different uh, from each other. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I've been to to transition, you know. From uh, from your uh, fights with wife to the job, uh, uh, puzzling the uh, solving the puzzle of uh, all, the, the, all, and trying to solve all the codes which is coming your way. Yeah, that that transition used to be quite a lot of difficult. You know, I really don't know how to make that shift uh, from that family person who is going through quite a lot on his own front front and. You know, from there to solving a, a puzzle uh, on the job, uh, on the puzzle which is being thrown at us from from a terrorist strong organization. I mean, yeah, that's, those were those those were the moments which used to be uh, quite difficult. You know, how I'm going to approach, how I'm going to uh, talk to uh, a character who I think I, I have sympathy for, whose you know uh, husband or boyfriend has died. Uh, how I, I'll be a uh, how I will how Shikant Tiwari will do it? How will he look? How he is going to talk? You know all of those things because just before that you have seen him getting badgered by his children and his wife, <laughs> and, <laughs> and suddenly he's all in control. You know so yeah that that transition used to be quite challenging. And what kind of research went into uh, you know making the series and playing the role? No, for me uh, the the. I always start, personally I start with uh, listening to my directors. First I listen to them, L I listen to them and I always, I, I tell all my actors, whoever comes to me for any suggestion, I always say, keep your ears open when the directors are talking and some of, the, some of them don't talk that much, okay. Uh, so even then you have to keep throwing questions at them, keep uh, encouraging them to talk. So when they are talking, invariably you you know, get all the uh, elements of the of, of of the of the vision that they are looking at. You know, or their expectation from the actor that they are having. You know, so all of those things are completely sp spread out on your, on the table in the beginning itself. If you keep keep your ears open, and also, uh, I like to read my scripts uh, quite a lot. I insist on get you know get, getting it. I I should know my script backwards. So. But yes, becoming the character is, is, a, is a slow process. Work on, uh, write, note down few elements while you're reading, 
about uh, Shikant Tiwari and you know it, it starts coming to me how he's going to be, how he's going to walk, what is the conflict with his wife, where he comes from. I mean it's not written in, uh, uh, in any way in the script that he's from Banaras. But in my mind, I thought that he's from Banaras. Yeah, you took it from the yeah. last name. Last name. <laughs> yeah. Like Tiwari. Okay, Tiwari. he's from Banaras. <laughs> <laughs> so in, my, in the manner I sp I'm speaking in, in the series, it's very, uh, uh, very much like uh, a Banarsi living in B Mumbai. Okay, is not typical Banarsi, but he's a person who's living in Mumbai and away from uh, Banaras for a very long time. But you, you get that uh, hint of... Uh, also, also when he's uh, using expletives, it, because Banarsis they have very uh, quite a lot of favorite abuses that he, they use even in their household. Uh, so yeah, those were the things, uh, those elements. And when I'm working on those elements, I slowly I start becoming uh, because I'm thinking about it all the time, the, the body language, this and that. And slowly, uh, my wife, you know, said it uh, a few years back. You know, when she was asked. Uh, how it feels like, uh, you know, married to a guy who keeps changing his, uh, his, uh, his outlook, his personality with every character. And she said, I'm, I'm so lucky that I'm getting to live with different men. Speaking of the research that went into the writing of the script, uh, see, first we had to, uh, there's three of us that wrote this, uh, between me and Raj, and then there's a, uh, our fr a friend of ours, a childhood friend of ours called Suman Kumar. He's also an uh, accomplished author. He's actually written a book and he's very strong on geopolitics. So one part of it was creating this character of Srikanth Tiwari. Another part of it was creating the geopolitics and the plot and the entire terrorism plot. Mm -hmm. I think that the, the terrorism plot is a fictitious plot wherein we, we've taken incidents, news incidents that we all know has happened and we have ex extrapolated it to create a plausible reality of what else could happen. And that's how the terror plot came. I think it's a very uh, well-researched, well-written terror plot, and it would be real. Once you see the show, you'll realize that it could, it's possible. It's, it's a very uh, possible, plausible thing to do, given the right uh, set of circumstances. Creating the character itself, uh, it's a very tough character to create because he's an intelligence agent. But again, we are creating this persona of a common man who's also an intelligence agent, a government employee. So what we did was we interviewed a few people, like a, an ex, ex uh, raw agent we interviewed and got a sense of how their life was when they were on the field, when they were working and got some insight into that. Also Raj had an, has an uncle who used to be an intelligence chief and uh, intelligence operative and uh, most people in the family didn't know and he would always be making up stories about what do you do, means he'll make up one very detailed story about how he sold shoes and you start talking about shoe sizes and shoe models and all that like that's the level of detailing you go when you're lying and that's one of the traits that we gave to Shrikant Tiwari's character that instantly he'll make up a story and not just a basic story he'll make up a story with a lot of details in it to make it look that much real so that that aspect of it was very well researched with real people who are on the field of course none of these people will ever talk about the operations they have done they will never say anything about the job they have done, but they are more than happy talking about their lives outside the jobs. So we got a lot of info on that. So uh, coming to OTT platforms and the luxury web series gives you, I think it's first for both of you right. to work in web yes. series. So you know, how was the experience and what could you do which was different from say making films? Firstly, <coughs> it's a lot of writing as a writer because we also write, besides directing and producing, we also write. So it's a lot of writing. It's like writing 500 page script compared to writing a 100 page script for a film. So it's five times the amount of writing. And that's why it takes a long time. It almost took us one year to, from the time of getting the idea, writing the story, concept, screenplay, dialogue. It took almost one year for us to write this, which is a very long time. And uh, that's the negative of it is the amount of work. And even when it comes to shooting, we have to shoot a lot more. That's the tough part of it but the happy part of it as creators is we get to explore the character and the subject a lot more than we can do in a feature film in a feature film if you create a character called Srikant Tiwari you can devote 10 minutes to his family life because beyond that you have to go with the plot but in a show like this you can keep going into his family life you can show different 
times in his life, different facets of his family life, how his children are, how his wife is, what are their problems, what do they want. It allows us an opportunity to explore. Same with the plot also. We have so many tangents to the plot. Even though the plot is about this one terrorist terror threat that encompasses the whole season, there are so many tangents we can go into that are connected. In a movie, all those will get cut out. Even if you write the first draft, by the time we are going into shoot, everything gets cut out because you want a two-hour film. And for you, Manoj, how was it shooting? Um, it is, it's so amazing. I mean, you are getting to uh, work on different facets of, of, uh, of the character. And you were, uh, and it doesn't stop, you know, till the end of the shoot, you are still, you know, finding, it's, it's, you are still finding and working on, on, a, on a very different uh, facet which, which, which you didn't, couldn't find in any other scenes earlier. So, yeah, I mean, uh, as the script writers are evolving uh, or correcting uh, themselves on the set or improvising, and the actors in, in me is also doing the same thing because he is also getting a chance or get you know getting challenged or 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 he's 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 all the time alert as to how they are going to improve the scene now because this the 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 script that i have i've gone through so many times is not going to remain the same when i'm going to be on the set they are they are going to add certain things and they are going to subtract certain things because they are they are they keep working on it till the time they shoot it. So yeah, uh, in, in in cinema, uh, no matter how independent it is uh, in its content, uh, it still is two hours, you know, of time. Uh, there are so many things that you do on the on the shoot uh, which are cut or edited, and some of them are your favorite performances. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Uh, like in Gali Gunia, one scene I have done, uh, DK, that. I really feel that uh, no other actor in this world has ever tried that kind of a performance, which I have done in the hustle bustle of Chandni Chowk, in the lane, sitting on a chai ka tapri, with, uh, there was a foreigner character which they have edited uh, with her. And I, till now, when I'm talking about it, I, f I feel bad that it got edited, you know. I. That's the unfortunate side of, uh, yeah. Yeah. unfortunate side of, I mean, a lot of things yeah. we edit in the script itself, a lot of things we yeah. edit after shooting. After and shooting, yeah. But in, yeah. in the web show, you, you, you are sure that 95% is going to be there. 95% of the pauses are going to be there, you know. There are some of the silent moments uh, that one has created, uh, you know, in between two lines or, or within the lines they are going to keep it, you know, because once it is okayed by the directors, it, that means they liked it and they will make sure to have it right there in the final edit. So, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's a luxury, it's an advantage in that sense. This disadvantage is, as I've been telling you, that, you know, in one scene, in, I mean, so many days we are shooting, uh, uh, in one day we're shooting one scene from 10th episode, one scene from five, fifth episode, one scene from 4th episode, so, an actor has to know the script backward, you know. He has to be really, really alert and, uh, and really uh, in, in a position to add a uh, few, few new things that day. He should be able to surprise his directors as much as possible, you know, all the time. So, yeah, the, the, the difficult part is that your job is intensity grows. Yeah. And the and you have to last. It's like and you have to last. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the same difference between playing a one-day match and a test match. Test yeah. match. Yeah. <laughs> one-day match, you can come, be quick, hit your runs, and go. Test match, you study the ball. You, you have take to stay calculated at risks only. You'll stay, and you're here to stay. You have to stay for five days. <laughs> so yeah. Both both are great art forms, and but there's just a different style of playing. And which are your favorite web series? What are you watching? Like watch. I have too many actually. Yeah, yeah even <laughs> I have a lot. Five, Late, latest, if you want me to yeah. name a couple, like I loved watching Narcos. Yeah. Obviously, I'm waiting for the next seasons to come. Oh. I love, love, enjoyed watching uh, Mind Hunter, and lately I've enjoyed watching a show called Fleabag. Yeah, uh, lovely show. Yeah, I, I had watched it before it was even famous, like last year, and then now it's on Amazon Prime, so, and now everybody's watching it, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm glad it's getting that kind of exposure. But it's a British series, and it was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, too many actually, but to tell you the the topmost uh, Breaking Bad 
or say House of Cards. You know, I'm an actor, so I like to see the craft mm -hmm. of these great actors. You know, try to study them. Have you noticed that is watching all these shows where it's this yeah. one individual character? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like mean, House of Cards or Breaking you know, Bad. Even, even Mine Hunter, the first season actually. The first season. I like the first first season better than the, the second one. Second one or the Fargo. Fargo, I can go on watching forever. Yeah, Fargo was fantastic. Yeah, I enjoyed absolutely. watching Fargo. Uh, I 25 years in Bollywood now in in the film industry right. now. So how do you see the journey? <laughs> kahan se kahan tak? It's, it's a dream. Uh, it's a dream run for for me because I have never intended to be a conventional uh, uh, hero. I never travelled to from Delhi to. I never actually with that intention never travelled from Delhi, Delhi to Mumbai. And still, you know, managed to actually change change a few things, and you know, for myself, and fallen down so many times that I forgot the numbers of my fall. But I have risen so many times that I have forgot the numbers uh, when I just got up and started running and walking. Yeah. yeah, I think that's why you know my life is actually, uh, uh, but the, in the manner it is going, uh, I think uh, uh, people will make a. Biopic on this <laughs> because at more, many times people people thought that you know it's I gone. think you need you need a lot of high and low yeah, moments yeah. to make a good biopic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. so, so many highs and so many lows. Lows, you know. Uh, uh, one actor just the other day, you know, from my time, Ravi Kishan. You know, hmm. I know him since a long time. So I went to his house for Ganpati, and he was telling me that you know, uh, Manoj, so many times all of us thought that you are gone. You know, finito, he finished, and suddenly from some corner you just, <laughs> you know, it came and suddenly you know you started uh, ruling, and again you fell, again every, everyone predicted your for, uh, your uh, exit for forever. So yeah, I mean, it's, it has been quite a roller coaster ride for me, but uh, it's been interesting, you know, and now I'm in a very comfortable zone very very com for comfortable zone where I can do what I want to do and uh, you know industry respects you, directors love you uh, and the audience uh, you know just they, are, they just adore you for what, what you have done, for what you do, what else you want. My last question is uh, you know what kind of a family man are you? Because you are also subsumed by your work so the yeah. work life balance, does Shabana ever complain? No she doesn't complain but yes uh, when she thinks that uh, uh, there, you know, there comes a moment which should be given a priority. She actually insists on uh, on taking a break, and I very happily take it. Also, it, it's a uh, it's not about enjoyment. It's just the little one, the daughter of ours. Uh, she she is the priority of for both of us. Uh, earlier, the uh, the work or. or Work was the most uh, uh, important thing, but I I think work is the second one today. Uh, the the child is the first one. Her growth, her evolution, uh, her development is far far more important than anything else. Your family is away from social media. When everybody is putting, especially the celebs, everything out there, especially. Ashwana the is a very private person, and <coughs> and she doesn't have friends. You know, so she. She has either Manoj Bajpi or the daughter, uh, and she's quite averse to. I mean, she's somebody who doesn't even see her WhatsApp. Forget about social media. She can't even uh, manage her iPhone. She keeps, you know, uh, creeping about me giving her iPhone. You know, she says that I was quite, you know, <laughs> quite fine with uh, Nokia. I don't think she will ever come uh, on social media. She's like uh, doing her own thing with the child, or. She, she, uh, she's, re she's a voracious reader or she's reading, yeah. Thank you very much both of you and best of luck for the series. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.